Hi everyone, back here again for another video. This is a follow-up on my last video where I did the keyboard shortcuts for multitasking on the iPad using the Magic Keyboard. Today, I will show you how we can do it with the Logitech K380 keyboard. So, I mentioned in my last video that according to my, my initial testing, it wasn't working on the Logitech K380 because I was just using this insert key or the one with the globe icon, which is the main key to use to do multitasking uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, but thanks to one of the comments of my viewers and uh, gave me really this good tip and saved me a lot of time to do research and testing. So let's see how to do it. And first off, we need to change the modifier keys. So first, let's go into the settings. Go to keyboard and then hardware keyboard. And here is where you can change the options. And obviously here, we all need the control key, the option key, and the command key for the shortcuts. So the only key that we could change then is the caps lock key to change it to function as the globe key. So this means I cannot use the caps lock to type all caps uh, when I'm writing text. That is fine because I don't really type a lot of text in, in all caps. Uh, what I can do is just hold on shift and then type all the capital letters that I need. So now if it's caps lock, then obviously that will change into different languages or the emoji if I do one press. But then if I hold on, press onto it, then this will show us the shortcuts for multitasking. And this means it should potentially work. So let's try and see that all the shortcuts that I mentioned in my previous video will work. So let's try and do split screen. And the shortcut for that is the globe icon plus control and then either left and right. This one, I noticed it's not really working right away. And I have to try quite a few times to make it work. Now it works here. So now I can choose an app, what I want to open on the side as a split screen. And now it works. Now let's try to do and make the notes app on full screen. So the shortcut for that is the globe and F. So I'll do caps lock F but then it chose the YouTube app to become full screen. So one tip here, and you choose a new app to be on the side, and you want to make the previous app to be on full screen, you need to make sure you're on that app. So if I do command and tab, it shows I'm in YouTube, right? So now if I do caps lock and F, and then that will make YouTube to be in full screen. Again, control and caps lock on the Logitech K380 to do split screen. Now, if I want to make my notes app to be on full screen, I have to make sure that I'm on that app by doing command tab. And then I do caps lock and F and it will bring back to full screen. So, okay, it works. Now let's try and do a slide over screen. And the shortcut for that is the globe and the option key and then either left or right. So if I do this, it will put the app on the side. Then I can choose what app I want to be the main displayed on the main screen. If I want to move the slide over screen on the other side, same shortcut, that's the caps lock option, and then left, caps lock option, and then right. And let's test how to hide it. That will be caps lock and the backslash. Let's see if the shortcut to put it on full screen will work. So again, that's globe and F and yes, it does work. Let's try then, and I'm pretty sure this will also work to show the app switcher that will be caps lock and the app key. And if I want to choose an app from the app switcher, as you see here, it's highlighted uh, the apps in the dock, so I just move left and right. But if I want to choose the open apps, then I have to press on tab and then it will highlight and let me choose on the open apps. 
I'm gonna hit enter. So what else do we have? The control center, the, up, the shortcut is the globe and the C. So for us, it's caps lock and C, and that will show the control center. And here I mentioned in my last video, I think right now there's no option to move around the different options that we have in the control center. I don't know if maybe in the real iPad OS 15 that will be available because it's a shame that we have the shortcut to display the control center, but there's no way to move around with the keyboard uh, in the different options. So to get out of this, again, do globe and C for us, it's caps lock in the Logitech K380. Now to show the notification center, again, the, the shortcut is globe icon and N for us, it's caps lock and N, and that will show the notification center. And the same, we cannot move around with the, the tab key or the arrow key. It just closes the notification center. So we still have the option of the command tab to switch around previous seven open apps or control shift and tab to go back. So one last shortcut, and this is a new feature that's coming with iPad OS 15 is quick note. And the shortcut to display that is the globe and Q. So for us, it's caps lock and Q, and that will display the quick note. Hopefully create a new one but that creates the new one in note. So let's try. And yes, it does work. So with all this test, I believe all the keyboard shortcuts for multitasking are working. And again, thanks to you for leaving this comment and giving us the answer on how to make this work on the Logitech K380. Change your caps lock key to work as the globe and then all the keyboard shortcuts should then be working. So that's it. Thanks for watching.